I'm currently disconnected. This is Let's Make Stuff. Let's make some Deathstroke armor. Come on. For this build, you're going to need a box cutter, a black marker, some contact adhesive, various thicknesses in foam, some black and orange paint, a heat gun, and some Velcro. You also need a template, which you can download in the link below. Now that you've traced out your template, you're going to need to cut it up. Now this particular line, you're going to cut at an inward 45 degree angle, like so. And then for the next piece, those two lines, you're also going to cut at a 45 degree angle, both of these facing the same way. And then when you join the two pieces together, you can see where I'm going with this. It's going to create a nice chess piece effect. And for the piece just underneath, you're going to cut that at a 45 degree angle, but this time facing outwards. Okay, so first we're going to trim around the edges, sand them off, heat it with a heat gun, bend it into shape, a nice round shape, and then you're going to glue them all together. Once you're happy with how both sides look, trim off any excess that you've got, and join them together. And it should look something like this. Okay, now it's on to the abs. I'm going to trace out the ab template onto some thinner craft foam. Then I'm going to cut out the border, trace that on some other foam, cut them out and glue them on top of each other. Then we're going to glue them all together in a nice scale down effect. Now this felt a little bit flimsy to me, so I also added some extra foam underneath and then attached all of that to the two pectoral muscles we made earlier. Remembering to clear out any of the excess foam to make a nice snug fit. Now, it's on to the back piece. This is the spine here. Just remember you can download all of the template in the link below. Remembering to cut the edges so we get a nice armor-like effect when they're joined. Once you're happy with that, glue it together. It's time to work on the side pieces. Now for the side pieces I use some thicker foam. For this particular part I used a uh, floor mat. The same type that I use for the pec pieces. I'm just going to cut those out, glue them together, and when we're happy with how that looks, we're going to glue all three pieces to make the back plate. I also reinforced the back of the armour with some scrap foam I had left over and just glued it into place. Now for the straps. Now for this part, I've provided a template, but you are going to have to make some alterations at some point because this is for my shoulders, and my shoulders might not be as long as your shoulders. And for the side pieces, well, even I didn't make these long enough, and I ended up having to add some extra stuff. So once you've cut those out, join them on with some adhesive, remembering to reinforce them underneath with some foam. Once you're happy with that, it's time to work on the side pieces. Now, like I mentioned, I didn't make these long enough. So what I ended up doing was just adding a bit of black, semi-stretchy-like material in between the back plate and the side pieces. And it worked out kind of well, actually. I glued those down and reinforced them on the back with some hot glue. Now it's time to attach the Velcro to the sides. I smoothed out some areas underneath, added some tabs to give it some extra room, and then glued on the Velcro. First on the side pieces, and then underneath on the front part. Now it's time to work on the collar. I just traced out both sides, cut them up, also cut up the front blast plate, remembering that the front piece needs to be cut at a 45 degree angle so that you can get that nice V look on the front. And stick that on and stick the collars on like so. Now, the side shoulder pieces. Cut them out. You're going to heat them up. Glue them together. And you're going to cut out with a thinner foam, the, the thinner floor matting. You're going to Cut out some extra pieces, trace around them so you know where to glue, and attach some elastic on the back. So it's nice and stretchy and easy. This is the top shoulder pieces here, and it's pretty much the same thing all over again. Cut them out, heat them up, bend them into shape, glue them together. Remembering to follow those little markers. Finally, the gauntlets. I used some EVA 5mm foam for this part. And once again, just heated them up, bent them into shape, glued them together with some contact adhesive, and added some Velcro on the inside, which, in hindsight, I'd probably add on the outside next time. I also added some extra details with some thin craft foam, and then coated all the pieces in some Plasti Dip. Once I'd done that, I added some royal blue acrylic, 
then touched up again with some pla black matte plasti dip and highlighted with some international orange highlights. I also added some straps to the front, which I got off a backpack, and some shotgun shells made out of plastic tubing that I painted red and gold. So there you go, your very own Deathstroke armor. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, come on world, come on I'll get you. Also give you a shout out to a couple of channels, Zine Pride and Evil Ted Smith. Both those guys are amazing at making armor. So if you get a chance, check out those channels because they're both pretty friggin' awesome. And speaking of support, why not check out my Etsy page? I've got armor, I've got helmets, I've got blank helmets, I've got kits for helmets. Get out there, press like, press share. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. See you later.